Hello there my mate, can you pour me and my lady friend Lisa Scott a white Russian vodka each? It has been a rough day at the office for us. And for the social care class too. I have not seen you around these parts lately. Two white Russians coming up. Stay a while and keep me entertained. My name is Johnny by the way, it's fancy dress here tonight. Alright then I will be the psychologist for the night let me tell you all about my works and life. Ah oh, here now slow down Tommy I can only take in so much as a barman. Lisa love you are looking great tonight. My theories will have you begging for more, I find that my life observations have the ability to capture minds of millions. Ah oh, lad you really are a gas man, being behind this bar gives me the opportunity to listen to foreigners like yourself on about theories, observations and any other issues. I will have you know that my theories are world renowned and apply in many ways to society today. We all have our own theories in life some more realistic than others, I like to consider myself as a rising theorist myself. But go on sure tell me about your so called theories. My theories include zone of proximal development, scaffolding, cognitive, socio-culture, constructivism, elementary mental functions and lastly mediation. Well well Mr. Dot Vygotsky, you have some fancy words there, but you have my intention, isn't that right class? The band will be on about 10 o'clock Vygotsky. Excellent so let me explain a bit about my background. I was born in 1896 in a small Russian town called Orsha. The revolution had impacted on my perspective on life. I can be described as a cognitive and socio-cultural theorist. My work emphasized the role of others in the development of learning unlike that so-called theorist Bajit. Boom. Calm down Vygotsky dude, tell me about your language and culture theory. I did not expect to be meeting such a fellow like yourself when I came to work this evening. At first children have private speech where they speak through each action it serves as a plan which helps to improve cognitively, these children are more attentive. Language is an important basic for development. At the age of 7 private speech is internalized and social speech begins. Children have use of speech and now listen and respond. So you mean to tell me that when a child speaks out loud through play or doing a task, is so they learn to do things more effectively? You in the corner quite down this man is talking. Yes Johnny lad. These kids also have a better skills to remember, solve problems, and no longer need to speak out loud to complete a task. The child's inner speech has development. Culture plays a role in cognitive development. Interpersonal level is where culture meets the individual. The ability to think and reason for ourselves is a result social process. When a baby is pointing in no particular direction. As the baby grows he becomes successful at his pointing gestures in which the parents get what he is pointing for. A child's thinking is affected by their knowledge of the social community. Language is an important tool for gaining this social knowledge. It's separate to thinking or perception. I will just tell you about elementary mental functions and mediation and then you can pour us another white Russian vodka. Lisa Scott is some women Johnny. Elementary mental functions and mediation Olev Vygotsky these big words are so confusing but please continue and it's too fascinating. I like to categorize our mental functions as higher and lower mental function. Through theories he said cognitive or psychological abilities either higher or elementary functions. Elementary functions is also known as lower mental functions, these are abilities that we are born with that naturally develop over the years. These are attention, sensation, perception and memory. These would also include behavioral functions at a young age. I am following you so far Vygotsky, think I will have myself a white Russian vodka shh do not tell my boss alright. Mediation is one of the fundamental mechanisms of human development. Mediation overlaps and complements scaffolding in many ways. Mediation is composed of two components. Mediation is defined as the use of, of tools in socially organized activity. Higher mental process are mediated by tools. 
being symbols, material or another human being's behavior. Individuals use language and physical signs to change social relations in psychological functions between their minds and environment. Higher intellectual progression is symbolic. When Tai are not in a rope, this acts as a reminder, therefore constructing the process of forcing an external object to remember an external activity.